You've done it. You have finally decided to upgrade your television experience to the absolute highest level. You have purchased what is widely considered to be the single best, fastest, most powerful, and most user-friendly streaming device on the entire planet. The Apple TV 4K, you are on the verge of unlocking a massive, almost infinite universe of streaming content, all in stunning 4K, HDR, and Dolby Vision. You are ready to experience the seamless integration of the Apple ecosystem, the beautiful Tvo's interface, and the incredible power of the Siri remote. But first, you have to set it up. For a new user, this can feel a little bit intimidating. You open the beautiful, minimalist white box, you see the sleek black device, the new remote, and the power cord, and you're not sure where to even begin. But the great news is that Apple has spent years perfecting this process, and they have made it incredibly simple, logical, and in one case, almost magical. In this video, I am going to give you a complete, in-depth, step-by-step guide to the entire Apple TV 4K setup process. We will walk you through unboxing your new device and understanding what each component does and what crucial component is missing from the box. We will do a deep dive into the simple physical installation. The core of this guide will then be a screen-by-screen -screen masterclass on how to navigate the famous on-screen setup wizard. We will show you the incredibly easy setup with iPhone feature and we will also cover the manual setup process. And finally, we will show you how to use the amazing hidden color balance tool to get the absolute perfect picture on your television. This is the only guide you lines need to go from a sealed box to binge watching your favorite show. Let's begin with our pre-flight checklist. The first step is to open your new Apple TV 4K box and do a quick inventory. Inside, you should find three key components. The first is the star of the show, the Apple TV 4K itself. This small, sleek, black box is the entire powerful computer. Second, you will have your new aluminum Siri remote. And third, you will have the power cord. Now, it is critically important to notice what is not in the box. Apple does not include an HDMI cable, and this is a non-negotiable requirement to connect the device to your TV. This brings us to a crucial pro tip. To get the absolute best possible picture quality from your new 4K HDR-capable Apple TV, you must use a high-quality HDMI cable. You should look for a cable that is specifically labeled as a high-speed or an ultra-high-speed HDMI cable. These cables are certified to handle the massive amount of data that is required for 4K resolution, high dynamic range HDR, and Dolby Vision. Using an old, cheap HDMI cable from a decade ago can result in a degraded picture or a flashing screen. Before you begin, you will also need to have your home's Wi-Fi network password ready, and you will need to know your Apple ID username and password. Okay, you have unboxed your equipment and you have your high-speed HDMI cable. It is time for the physical installation, and the great news is that this is incredibly simple. The first step is to take your HDMI cable. You will plug one end of it into the HDMI port on the back of your Apple TV 4K box. You will then plug the other end of that cable into a spare HDMI port on the back or the side of your television. A pro tip for the absolute best performance is to connect your Apple TV to your home S internet router using a physical Ethernet cable instead of relying on Wi-Fi. This will give you a faster and more stable connection. If you can do this, you will plug an Ethernet cable into the port on the back of the Apple TV. The second step is to connect the power cord to the back of the Apple TV and to plug it into a wall outlet or a power strip. The final step is to turn on your television. You will use your TVS original remote to press the input or source button until you have selected the correct HDMI port that you have plugged your Apple TV into, for example, HDMI 2. If you have done everything correctly, you will now see the beautiful, simple hello screen in multiple languages. 
This is the success signal. It means that the physical installation is complete, and we are now ready to begin the on-screen setup. The first thing you will see on your screen is an instruction to press the center of the touch-enabled click pad on your Siri remote to pair it with the Apple TV. Now we get to the part of the setup that feels like pure magic, the part that showcases the power of the Apple ecosystem. You will be given to choices, set up with iPhone or set up manually. If you have an iPhone, you must choose set up with iPhone. This is the ultimate life hack. The on-screen instructions will tell you to unlock your iPhone and to simply hold it near the Apple TV box. When you do this, a special pop-up will automatically appear on your iPhone S screen that says set up new Apple TV. You will tap continue. Your iPhone will then automatically and securely transfer all of your essential information, your Apple ID account, your home's Wi-Fi password, and all of your other keychain settings directly to the Apple TV wirelessly. It is a completely seamless and magical process that takes about 30 seconds. If you do not have an iPhone, you will choose to set up manually. This process is also very simple. You will be guided, step by step, to choose your language, to select your home's Wi-Fi network from a list, and to manually enter your Wi-Fi password using the on-screen keyboard. You will then have to manually enter your Apple ID username and password. After you have signed in, the Apple TV will guide you through a few final configuration steps. It will ask you if you want to enable one home screen, which is a fantastic feature that will automatically keep the home screens of all your different Apple TV devices in sync. You can also sign in with your TV provider to automatically unlock a number of network-specific apps. Now for my favorite and a hidden pro-level feature. You should go to the main settings menu, then to video and audio. At the bottom of this menu, you will find an incredible tool called Color Balance. This tool will use the advanced light sensor that is built into the front of your iPhone to professionally calibrate the picture on your television. You will hold your iPhone up to your TV screen, and the Apple TV will display a series of color patterns. Your iPhone will measure these colors and it will then automatically adjust the Apple TV's video output to give you a perfectly balanced, studio quality, and natural looking picture. It is an amazing feature that you should absolutely use, and that is it. You will now be taken to the beautiful, clean, and elegant Tvo's home screen. You will see a grid of all of your favorite apps. You can use the Siri remote to navigate, and you can press and hold the microphone button to use your voice to search for any show, any movie, or any app you want. You are now officially ready to start streaming in glorious 4K. So, to recap the entire simple process, you will plug in your Apple TV, and you will then follow the friendly on-screen setup wizard. For the fastest and most magical experience, you will choose to set up with iPhone. By following these simple but crucial steps, you have now unlocked the most powerful and most user-friendly streaming experience in the entire world. If this guide helped you, a like on the video would be fantastic. Subscribe for more in-depth tech guides. So, to recap the entire simple process, you will plug in your Apple TV and you will then follow the friendly on-screen setup wizard. For the fastest and most magical experience, you will choose to set up with iPhone. By following these simple but crucial steps, you have now unlocked the most powerful and most user-friendly streaming experience in the entire world. If this guide helped you, a like on the video would be fantastic. Subscribe for more in-depth tech guides.